cooking going on here in the studio. Oh, it smells good already. It does. You know, with childhood obesity rates skyrocketing, it's really important for kids to develop healthy eating habits right from the very start. That's right. And celebrity chef, author, and father of three, Tyler Florence has come up with some simple, healthy, and delicious recipes for young ones. It's in his new book, Start Fresh. Yeah. And we're starting fresh right here. This yeah, looks good. Thank you very much. We're really hey. excited. So, uh, so I wrote a book um, um, uh, this past January, mm -hmm. right? And we're really excited about it because it tells a story uh, from a chef's point of view about being a parent, right? right. And cooking f uh, for children from the absolute very start. Because face it, with the obesity epidemic the way it is, mm -hmm. um, starting a child in a healthy eating program by the time they're six or seven is way too late. It's way too late. We got to start. How early do you start? You start from the very early. first spoon of food that you put in a child's mouth. It needs to be the freshest, most densely nutritious, and most delicious thing you could possibly make them. Or, you mm -hmm. know, what you're doing is you're um, competing against food scientists. Okay. Right? right. And if you don't want your child running, screaming into the arms of the clown the first time they taste a French fry, because mm -hmm. they'll do it. You've got to you got to battle the other direction. You got to go fresh, 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 healthy, delicious food from the very start. Let's start do this fresh. first. Let's do this sure. first because you have yeah. a uh, one pot lasagna that you make for kids 12 months and and older. Absolutely. Right? So so the idea about making food um, so from the very beginning, eight months uh, to about a year, mm -hmm. you want to start off with simple purees and then complex purees and then kind of get in the idea of texture once they start to get teeth. Okay. But this is a re the book start goes from six months to about five years of age. Okay. And even like 55 because some of the recipes are just awesome you're going to make them time and time right. again. I'll be gumming stuff by the I time. Love <laughs> so this would be great. So for this me. is the idea of lasagna. Okay, so so when you build a lasagna, right? Yes. So the, here's the idea of taking all those flavors and making lasagna taste like exactly what it's supposed to taste like. Okay. You can get it in the oven and on the table in about 30 35 minutes, which is awesome. Gotcha. Okay, so to deconstruct a lasagna, a one pan lasagna. Okay, let's okay. make it. Let's yeah, go. so what we're going to start this here with good. Yeah, exactly. A little bit of ground beef, okay? okay? So and what we're going to do here is we're going to start to build the sauce. Okay, okay, so in my sauce, you can go ahead and start dumping this in. All of these? Yeah, start off with okay. the tomatoes. Maybe this is a 128 ounce can of San Marzano Italian tomatoes, okay. right? Organic tomatoes, mm -hmm. perfect. And then we're gonna add one onion, okay. minced up. Is that one whole onion? Yeah, one whole onion, kind of cut in rings, and then we got a little bit of garlic, okay. right? And then we got some carrots. Two hands here, Tyler. Carrots. You like that? Uh -huh. Look at that. Yeah, carrots, carrots into a tomato too? sauce. You okay. start, you start, you pack this up with vegetables. All right. And then what you want to do is put this together, and you want to grind this down. So this will be our tomato sauce, okay? It smells good already. Yeah. It's super fresh, right? <laughs> And how fresh does that look, right? It's not jarred. Okay. All right, perfect. So you got that. Now this is going to go into our ground beef here, right? It's already been cooking. Good to go. Already been cooking. Yeah. Okay, great. So we got a nice base color, base flavor here, right? This, honestly, I'm surprised you can do this 12 months. I'm just, we were talking earlier, I'm paranoid. The 12 months that they can eat lasagna. I think they with my kids, I introduced food way too late, and I think it's turned them into picky eaters, you know? And you know, a lot of uh, a lot of pediatricians uh, are saying that. So Dr. Alan Green, who's a, a very good friend of ours, he's a, a pediatrician um, in, in Northern California at Stanford and also at Berkeley. Mm -hmm. A really good friend of mine, he says that, that you're doing your children uh, a big disservice if you don't introduce a lot of really interesting foods to them at a very, very early age. So it's all about flavor, right, for the most part, right? Is that when you get that flavor and good food going, is that how you, you keep the kids from being such picky eaters? Absolutely. By six months, right, you really need to start um, introducing complex flavors and different tastes. Well, six months is that really more about sort of pure kind of one flavor, but eight months, nine months, you can mm -hmm. start mixing different ingredients together, and by the time they're a year, you know, 14 months, it's 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 game on. You, you really want to start feeding your children dinner that you would make yourself. And right? is that, did you test these recipes out with your kids? Yeah. <laughs> my, my, my kids are all guinea pigs, right? They are, so everything, okay. everything that, that's in the book, it's all tested on my own children. So if they didn't okay. like it, I wouldn't feed your children either. So right. some some things didn't make it, uh, but yeah. uh, mo uh, the 60 recipes that are in the book are just fantastic. And so, this recipe is and it also smells in good. Book, right? I had to yes, come yes, in. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Covering, covering, covering over, over right. it. Yeah. The aroma in here is amazing. It smells so really, I had to come really over good. Here. Right, so commercial. We're eating. Yeah, yeah. I, I love it. All right, guys, so check it out. So what we're going to do is these are broken up pieces of lasagna noodles, right? Mm -hmm. So the, the liquid in, in here right now looks a little saucy, and that's on purpose. So it's, it's the tomato, it's the ground beef, a little chicken stock, right? And it just mm. it just gets you know yeah, it's so right in there. Exactly. So as we bake this in the oven, um, the the liquid and the pasta are going to start to blend together, and it's going to start to kind of form one big gigantic layer. It's going to be one big mass, and which is great. It's going to look like that. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So, so lunch. Yeah. Look, look at that. <laughs> so so you, so you stuff all the broken noodles in here, and then uh, all the liquid's going to start to cook. Okay. It's going to go into the oven at 350. Degrees uh, for about about 25 minutes, mm -hmm. right? Until the everything starts to set. A nice. little bit of mozzarella on top nice. of this. That's right? it. And that's wow. it. And you've that's got it. and you've got delicious one pan lasagna. It wow. bakes up and it looks fantastic. You scoop it out, it tastes delicious. And start if you fresh. want to get more great recipes for infants, babies, and toddlers, pick up a copy of Tyler's book. It's called Start Fresh. It's available now.